Ladies and gentlemen, hello and you are watching TTP News some latest events in the province. And now coming to details. Ladies and gentlemen, in the morning of November 10, the Standing Committee of the Brussels People Council held the regular meeting in November. Mr. Nguyen Thanh Tâm, Secretary of the Bronzo Party Committee, Chairman of the Bronzo People Council, chaired the working session. The meeting was to comment on some content submitted by the Bronzo People Committee and the Office of the National Assembly Delegation and the Bronzo People Council to the Standing People Council on the number of tasks and reparations for implementation from here to the end of the year. At the regular meeting, the Provincial People's Committee submitted a proposal to develop regulations on the content, the level of victim support, and the work of supporting victims of trafficking in the province. As a result, the victim support activities include uh, verification, reception, rescue, protection, and psychological counseling for the victims of human trafficking. And these activities will be supported by the implementation cost for approximately 1,200,000 Vietnam Tong per case. On the victim side, there is a proposal to provide food and money to purchase clothing and personal living items, and the victims are also encouraged to study the culture, learn a trade, and receive assistance with train tickets and food on days when they wish to return to their place of residence. The estimated direct support cost for one victim is 7,470,000 Vietnam Tung per person. And the fund comes from local budgets. The Standing Committee of Provincial People's Council has agreed to the policies and has come to some suggestion for the Provincial People's Committee to continue to complete the content of the report. Also at the meeting, the Provincial People's Committee submitted the registration contents to submit to the year-end meeting of the Provincial People's Council, including the 24 resolutions and 14 reports of performance in the fields of the Provincial People's Committee. The specialized committees of the Provincial People's Council also actively considering and verifying the contents of the Provincial People's Committee. Ladies and gentlemen, as reported, in the morning of November 10, the Standing Committee of the Bronzo People Council had the regular meeting in November. Mr. Nguyen Thanh Tâm, Secretary of the Bronzo Party Committee, Chairman of the Bronzo People Council, chaired the working session. At the working session, the Office of the National Assembly Delegation and the People Council submitted a broad plan to hold a regular meeting at the end of 2023 at the Bronzo People Council Course 10. Accordingly, the broad plan to hold a regular meeting at the end of 2023. The 10th session of the Bronzo People Council will be held in three days, from December 6th to 8th, 2023, at the Bronzo Party Comedy Hall. It is expected that the Android on television station will broadcast live the opening session, questioning and answering session, and listening session for voters to monitor and supervise. The Bronzo People Council will present seven reports at the upcoming meeting. The meeting will also consider and approve 34 resolutions in the fields, as well as 14 important reports from the Bronzo People Committee. With a massive floor law to repair for the meeting, the Bronzo People Council Professional Committee are actively researching and ratifying the meeting's contents. And in the morning of November the 10th at the Sunrise Hotel in the city, there was an exchange program between the Union of Friendship Organizations of Southeastern Provinces and Cities that spanned with the Consulate General of Countries in Ho Chi Minh City. Attending the program about the consulates of all the countries, there were Mr. Chan Sori Khan, Consulate General of Cambodia in Ho Chi Minh City, Mr. Ariadne Fiao La Prada, Consulate General of the Republic of Cuba in Ho Chi Minh City, and Ms. Lê Thị Phụng, Honorary Consul General of the Philippines in Ho Chi Minh City also. Mr. Lu Ping, Chief of the Office of the Consulate General of the People's Republic of China in Ho Chi Minh City. On the side of the Nen province, there were Mr. Trang Vang Jing, Vice Chairman of the Provincial People's Committee and Representatives of Leaders of Departments, Agencies, Branches, Mass Organizations, Representatives of Businesses and Officials, and Members of Friendship Association of Nine Provinces and Cities in the South Asia span. 
and attend the event. Speaking at the ceremony, Mr. Deng Wenjing, Vice Chairman of the Provincial People's Committee, emphasized that the Vietnam Union of Friendship Organization has promoted the spirit of proactive, flexible, after 73 years of formation and development. The active, creative, and effective working with the Vietnam Falun Front community and other people's organizations to mobilize and gather the people from all world of life in order to expand the solidarity, friendship, and cooperation between the Vietnamese people and the people of other countries, as well as relation with the foreign non-governmental organization. At the Eastern, the art teams of the Friendship Association of Nine Provinces and Cities in the South had expanded, with the art team representative for the councillors of countries in Ho Chi Minh City, brought many cultural performances for the parties to learn about the unique cultural fairnesses and features, to learn about the unique cultural features of each country and thereby strengthen its challenges, connections, and developing cooperation in the coming time. Also at the exchange, Mr. Tang Wing Jing, Vice Chairman of the People's Committee of the Nen Province, gave the flowers and gifts to delegates of the general consulates of countries, at the same time awarding the awards for excellent cultural performances and at the festival Open Southern Friendship Melody. On November 9, the delegation of the Ministry of Education and Training had a working session in the city on primary education. The delegation was led by Associated Professor Dr. Hoi Thu, Deputy Director of the Department of Primary Education, Ministry of Education and Training. The delegation expected the implementation of the 2018 General Education Program and Teaching English, IT, and Technology in primary school were to strengthen Vietnamese for any minority student. Implementation of the primary school and library program, the work of educating students with disability, and recognizing the universalization of primary education in the city. The Congress discussed and listened to opinion of school units about difficulties in primary education according to the 2018 General Education Program, a square solution in the coming time. And currently, the whole province has more than 5,500 actors of Costa Ebro Browing area the locality with the largest customable growing area in the country. And because self promulgating customable trees produce very low fruit yields and uneven fruit quality, artificial pollination with the most effective method of customable farmers. And Mr. Dang Hong Than, Vice President of Baden Thanh Dong Sutsup Professional Association of Thanh Dong Hamlet Thanh Thanh Commune of the Nen City said, because the customable flowers are complex, Bisexual flowers on the sepals, their female pistils and male stamens, and the female pistils actually ripen earlier than the male stamens, so the time to receive the pollen is short, and the calyx has about three elongated petals, but the petal list is narrow, and the flower is facing the ground, so it is not it is not possible to be pollinated by the wind. Most must be affected by the insects or must be artificial pollination techniques have the cassable fruit have a more beautiful design and minimize the tracking and the fruit is also more uniform than other fruit certain methods. In particular for the bad orchards with the unfavorable natural conditions, artificial pollination also will help the trees have a higher fruit bearing rate. In the third phase of 2023, voluntary blue donation, a noble gesture, is to be actively responded to by union members, worker officers, and laborers in the province. The mobilization and reception were organized by the Bronzo Steering Committee for Voluntary Blue Donation Campaign, the Bronzo Red Rose Association, and the Blue Transfusion Center of Jare Ho Chi Minh City Hospital in the morning of November 10, 2023, at Hong Hong General Hospital. Participating in this voluntary blue donation campaign were more than 300 union members, worker officers, and laborers from the trade union organization under the Bronzo Labor Confederation. Rule, Impression, and Filtering, the organizing committee received 296 units of blood, 
with 350 milliliters, of which the road supply employees trade union responded with 115 units of blood. According to a report from the Provincial Statistics Department, the situation of forest department and forest use is currently the rainy season. Forest management boards are reviewing land funds, repentizing and mobilizing people to participate in a forestation. The newly planted forest area focus on implementation by October 2023 is 538.8 hectares, reaching 119.2%. During three days from November 8 to 10, delegates will be shared on the following contents, introducing some world administrative reform experiences and practical implementation of administrative reform in Vietnam, introducing outstanding internal resources in the administrative reform of the civil service regime and civil service in recent times, and orientations for the coming years, applying information technology in information and propaganda about administrative reform and the resource of building and developing e-government, digital government and digital transformation in recent times, some key contents in the next time. Ladies and gentlemen, from November 6 to November 15, Bronzo and District People Council representative met with voters across the province. Voters in area with historical relief are very interested in the issue of preserving and developing relief, according to one very good story. The following information was gathered in Jala Kamun, Yumanjau District. Because it was one of the loyal revolutionary bases, and including the base in Lang Hamlet of Jala Kamun, Yumanjau District, has many historical relics. The Lang Hamlet Bay is currently a well preserved and preserved forest because it was the frontier gates blocking the roads to the center of the human jail base, and the enemy frequently attacked it. And true to resistance war against the French and the Americans, with many sacrifices and losses, Langhamlet's base also marked the heroic battles for our army and the people, and currently, although the base area is well preserved, it has not been renovated yet, and there are no items to facilitate the people visiting the shore. And this story was reflected and recommended by veterans during the recent meeting with the voters of the two level provincial people's council in Jala of Commune. The people in the commune have a wish to restore the historical palm leaf and forest to make it a little more spacious so that their descendants can learn about the commune's history. Many voters agree with this viewpoint, and according to Yumen Jiao District leaders, this is a historical significant relic to the people of Yumen Jiao District, especially. And the district has actively discussed with the Department of Planning and Investment and Finance to prepare capital for the renovation and investment in the construction of a number of items in the Lang Hamlet Relic area. And according to the response from the authorities, the district people's committee must proactively shows investment capital. Meanwhile, the district current public investment capital is still quite limited, so the district needs more time. For the relic, it is very within the district capacity. One step has already been taken to be done, and construction of fences to protect the relic size and spacious access roads, and remaining core is the construction items in the relic area in my Opinions exchanged with the Department Planning and Investment, the district will consider allocating the district capital, continue to request the capital from the province to invest in the relic history area. And although the design to renovate the base of Lang Hamlet to become a place to visit the origins of the people of Chala Commune is unlikely to be realized in the near future, the fact that voters uh, care about the preserving of the relic is a worthy thing. And many people visit this pristine forest for an special anniversary, such as Warren Valley's and Mortier's Day and the founding days of the Vietnam People's Army. And all the historical relics in the district are currently being preserved 
while waiting for funding to be restored. In 1994, the people of armed forces of Yemen Jail District also were awarded the heroes of the people's armed forces. Ministry of Agriculture and Rural Development with the current total livestock herd. It is estimated that each year an average of 61 million tons of waste and over 300 million cubic meters of waste water are discharged into the environment. If handled well, not only will the environment be protected, but it will also create many high-value products. If handled well, products will be created. In circular husbandry farming, two important groups of solutions are prioritized. The first is to process manure to make organic fertilizer for crops. The second is to raise insects to meet two goals, protecting environmental substance and providing protein for aquaculture and animal husbandry. However, small-scale husbandry farming is still a barrier to sustainable development goals. So the, the government of Vietnam has been supporting a lot of the sector and the program, and we thank for that. Uh, of course, there's always uh, support required from the government, for example, on promoting the, the market. Developing husbandry production towards a circular economy contributes to quickly overcoming environmental pollution, reducing greenhouse gas emissions, converting to green energy, and contributing to the formation of low emission agriculture to achieve the goal of the government in net emission reaching zero by 2050. Ladies and gentlemen, the control regime program between the Union of Friendly Organizations of Southeastern Province and Cities banded with the consulate of countries in Ho Chi Minh City to play in the province on the morning of November 10. Under its world laws, but left many good masks contributing to tightening the friendly relationship between province and cities in the southeast and country and territory around the world. Meeting is changing, is changing information, and let's learn about the culture of ethnic groups, regions, and countries through cultural performances, which are activities of the cultural exchange program between the Union of Friendship Organization of Southeastern Provinces and Cities, expanded with the Consulate General of Countries in Ho Chi Minh City. And the Friendship Melody Festival is a very useful playground for all members of the Friendship Association in order to exchange the cultural diplomacy with the Vietnamese people and the peoples of other countries and at the same time create a peaceful and united and friendly relationship for other peoples of other countries also. The birds, ling and cross melodies of the Tibet of the 16th string, zither, a bamboo flute, combined with the dancing performance introducing of Thanh Hoa ceramic bamboo flute display by artists from the Union of Friendship Organization of the Nine Provinces, and Chai Dam drum dancing are performed by artists from the Union Friendship Organization of the Nine Province, or the flexible movements of coconut shell dance performed by artists from Consulate General of the Kingdom of Cambodia in Ho Chi Minh City has shows the audience in the exchange colorful cultural picture of the region and the region and countries and territories. Hoping that through the programs like this and through the performances, we will learn more about the culture between the regions and between the countries also, and through which we will connect more about the solidarity between the Vietnam and the countries around the world. The success of control exchange activities between the Union of Friendship Organization of Southeastern Provinces and Cities is banded with the Consulate General of Countries in Ho City brings many meanings and great values of open up and many future prospers to the comprehensive development between the Vietnam and countries and territories around the world. Programs like this, in my opinion, are very meaningful and I hope that there will be more active programs so that all of our countries can join together. Through this program, it is also an opportunity to promote the tourism and to connect the southeast provinces and especially to associate with the consulates of countries the worst and especially countries with a lot of investment in the near future. It can be 
affirmed that the People's Foreign Affairs and the country's general duties between the Vietnam and countries and territories in the world in general and union friendship organizations in the South East region with the consular general of countries in the German city in particular plays a very important role in strengthening mutual understanding, promoting friendly and cooperative relations between the people of the countries and thereby introducing promoting the image and enhancing Vietnam's position with the international friends. Ladies and gentlemen, that's all for today's TTV News. Thank you for watching and see you next time.